I only use these colors. I can hear mum and Sienna in their bedrooms. Hi, mum. Hi, Sienna. <laughs> hey, Miracons. Welcome back to Mia's Life. Today, we are going to be doing another 24 hours challenge. And I have honestly, like, since I bought the outfit for this, I have been itching. And I just, like, it's been a couple of days. And I have been so excited to film this video. This is going to be so much fun. I honestly cannot wait. So if I'm looking a bit weird right now, it's because I do not have any mascara on, so I look very strange. I have foundation and eyebrows, but nothing else. So yeah, I look a bit weird, but that is because today we are going to be doing a transformation video. But this isn't going to be like any old transformation video. Today, I'm going to be transforming myself from like, I wear pink, I like bright colors. I'm pretty basic, to be honest, with my outfits. I don't really wear like super fashionable outfits. However, I don't really wear like, you know, I, I just feel feel like my style's pretty normal like there's not really anything that stands out about my style except for the fact that I do like quite bright colors which I guess some people aren't so much of a fan of bright colors however today I'm going to be transforming myself into a goth and I know everybody's version of goth is different so this is going to be like my version of goth because I did look up like goth outfits before this video and I found out there were so many types. I knew before this video that there were some types but like literally there are so many different types of goth. It's amazing. So there's like punk, there's cyber, there's pastel even and there was just like so many types and just because you're goth it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be wearing all black. However today since I do wear pretty bright colours already I just feel like to make this video more fun I'm going to be doing the all black transformation. This is just going to be very strange for me. So if you are new around here, make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag Miacorn. Also make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I am at Mia's Life Official and of course Miacorns. There is nothing wrong with dressing like goth. In fact, I really like goth. Like I think it looks really cool. It's just not very me. I would like normally, I don't think I usually have the courage to wear something like this. So this is definitely going to be getting out of my comfort zone for me. And it's just going to be trying something new. But I I'd honestly, like, if I see, a, like, a goth on the street, I think they look so cool. I just think the style is just so, like, kind of edgy, and it's just very different, and it makes you stand out against, like, the rest of the crowd, which I think is amazing. Like, honestly, just dress how you want, look however you want, and I just think that is amazing. Today, I'm going to be changing myself and doing something that I wouldn't normally do. Okay, so... So, obviously, there's going to be many different aspects of turning me into a goth as such. I think the first one is going to be doing my makeup because, as you can see, I've only half done it. Because usually when I do my full face of makeup, I will do it pretty natural. I really like pinks. I think pinks look really nice on me. I, like, avoid all the dark colours. Obviously, I feel like when you search up goth makeup, usually, I feel like people will have, like, really dark, smoky eyes and stuff like that. So today... I'm going to be attempting to do a sort of like smoky eye. I'm going to try and make my face a bit lighter. Although I am already pretty pale, so I just use my normal foundation because I'm basically already a piece of paper. We are going to be attempting to do some makeup. I already kind of know that it's probably already going to look bad. That's probably to do with my skills and just because the fact that I never wear dark colours. So for the first step, to turn me super pale, because when I searched up goth, basically like most of the people that came up first were super pale. So, although I'm already pale, I want to make myself even more pale. So, I'm going to be using this white concealer. And I'm not sure how this is going to look. I may have to mix it slightly with my normal concealer. Because it may look like I've got weird white streaks on my face. I'm just not sure how this is going to go. But we're going to try it. And I think it will do the effect that I want. I think it will definitely lighten my face. Right, okay. Here goes nothing. Let's stop putting on this white concealer. I think I'm probably going to put this, like, obviously in the normal place is where I'd put concealer but then also on all of my like highlighting spots and just like put this quite a bit of this all over my face pretty much. I'm blending this out. I think this may blend into my actual skin since I am already pretty pale. Obviously I'm not actually like a piece of paper but I am pretty pale. I've never tried out this concealer before. It's by MUA. It's supposed to be full coverage so that is good because I feel like goth look is usually pretty full coverage. So let's see how this goes. I don't know if it's this concealer in particular or if it's just like the color of it but that went on so grossly like ew I'm definitely gonna have to add some of my normal concealer because that looks 
Oh, uh, it looks terrible. <laughs> For the moment, I feel like that still has done the same effect. I feel like I do look a bit more pale, but I don't look like super pale compared to my neck. However, I don't know. On camera, I feel like my skin looks okay, but in person, it looks so gross. Like, it's a bit better now that I put my normal concealer on, but I think it was that concealer. I would not recommend that concealer, especially if you're getting the white one. Maybe the other colors, like normal skin colors, are better, but that just, it was not full coverage either. There's definitely better concealers out there, like the collection concealer. Concealer, which is super cheap as well, is a lot better. <laughs> Anyways, now we are going to move on to the smoky eye. So I'm just going to look up some like goth makeup. Okay, so some people do like very quite elaborate things like this. I'm not skilled enough for that. So I just want to do something pretty basic. Can have a look. Hmm, okay. Maybe I can do something similar type to this. That seems slightly more achievable. I'm gonna try and do this on myself. It's probably gonna fail, but we're gonna try. Okay, so I'm gonna use this palette. This palette actually does have quite a few dark colors. I just never use them. I only use these colors. So I think I'm gonna start off with this color as like in my crease, just to start off light, and then we can start adding more dark later on. Right, that looks like I've been punched in the eye. That's very nice. The thing about this is, I have deep set eyes, so I'm not sure how this is gonna look on me. However, I have actually had this sort of similar, quite a dark eye before, when I got my makeup done by a professional makeup artist, and he did a very dark, sort of black smoky eye. I'm gonna try and recreate something similar to like that, but I'm not gonna be able to do it the same as he did it because I can do my normal daily look and it look okay, but when I try to do anything other than that, it fails. Well, I mean, if I was trying to do a Halloween look, this would probably be good. I'm definitely gonna have to clean this up. Oh my god, what has happened? <laughs> so this is my attempt. I don't think it was too bad. I'm gonna add some black liner to it and then hopefully that might fix it. Obviously I haven't got any mascara on so once I put mascara on that will make it look a lot better but that is pretty much the eye done. Okay, so eyeliner. This is actually my mum's eyeliner. Okay, we're gonna try. This is by Kat Von D and I feel like she's a little bit goth. I'm not really sure what she counts herself as but I feel like she's kind of goth so... Her makeup is probably good for this look. Okay, so this is my goth makeup. I don't feel like it's come out too bad in the end. Like, I mean, I feel like this could look way better. This just hasn't come out that good. Let's move on and hopefully with the rest of the outfit, this will look a bit better because I've literally spent like an hour on this and I only have like an hour and a half to get ready before we go out. So I need to do the rest of the steps quite quickly. So the next step is hair and I've got my pajamas on because I'm going to be using this black Blaze Instant Color Hairspray. So this is basically hairspray, but it has like black in it, so it'll make your hair black. I know that obviously quite a lot of people who are goth don't have black hair. Like, I mean, I feel like I could just get away with my natural hair, but I want to do this like a massive transformation. So I'm going to be using this. Don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how it's going to come out, but we are just going to start spraying my hair black. Yeah, as you can see, um, my neck is turning black. Hopefully, if I brush this, this will like spread it out a bit more. I just kind of need to do this a bit more neatly. Okay, so I am looking very crazy. Now, this is obviously hairspray, so it's going to make my hair very, you know, messy, I guess. Now I look like I have just crawled out of a chimney. I have actually run out of hairspray. But I actually don't think it looks too bad. You know that it's kind of patchy. I think I've tried brushing it through. There's like some dots because I just added some more. But I feel like when I brush it, then that kind of makes the dots not look so dotty, if you know what I mean. But I mean, it's just for one day. This will wash out immediately. And I think it would look better if it was a bit neater. It should be fine. I think it will be fine. I'm obviously just going to wash it off my face and off my hand. And then hopefully I'll come back to you and it should be looking a lot better. And then we are going to be doing the outfit. <laughs> I am... Um in shock. Okay, so makeup, I think it's decent, it's wearable. I actually feel like, considering I've never really done this before, I did like a okay job. Hair, it's, it's not the best. It is a bit patchy, but I think I can get away with it. Wow, I actually like really like it. Okay, so this is what I look like up on my top half. So I have this like chain silver necklace. Then I have this black dress on to keep me warm and obviously to cover myself up. The main item, I have this black bow leather dress. 
or it's actually not a dress. I thought it was a dress, but it's not. It's like a jumpsuit thing. Like, it just looks like amazing. It's got like a belt like this. It just, it looks amazing. And then I have some fishnet tights on. And then to finish off the look, I have these chunky sort of boots. And now these boots, I think without the rest of the outfit, they wouldn't look that goth. I mean, they look pretty like chunky and a bit edgy, I guess. With the rest of the outfit, I think these items separately would look pretty cool and just like sort of normal. I would probably wear all of these items separately except for the faux leather dress. I don't think I could ever wear this. I like it, but at the same time, it's just very different. But the rest of the outfit, I probably would wear, but I probably just wouldn't wear it altogether because I think altogether, then you can tell that it's like pretty goth. Goth isn't usually my standard style. However, we are still not done. There is one last thing that I need to do. It's going to be crazy. So look what I bought. I bought a fake septum piercing and it's silver. It's plain silver. So I'm going to put this in now and it is just going to complete the look okay so this feels weird i have actually got a real nose piercing but it's this here and usually i just wear a stud in it i was thinking about maybe putting something in but i think that may look a bit much i'm just gonna leave it with just the septum which is obviously fake i wouldn't i wouldn't get my septum done my family hasn't seen me i think like i'm in shock right now like i really like this but it's just so different that I'm just like shocked. I think it looks really cool though. So I'm gonna show the rest of my family. They haven't seen me. They don't know what I look like. I think mum accidentally came in while I was doing the makeup. So she's seen a little bit of my eye makeup, but she hasn't seen anything else and the rest of the family hasn't. So let's go see what they think of me. I can hear mum and Sienna in their bedroom. See what they're doing. Oh, I almost fell. Hi mum. Hi Sienna. <laughs> together and it wouldn't look that good but it actually looks really authentic <laughs> I know I know you yeah. know so I can't wait till Dara gets back and see look what comes to you like what's going Come on, on. Yeah. Do you like my outfit and my makeup and my hair and my wow. new piercing? I got it really done. No, you didn't. Oh, no, it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, it looks so good. Oh my god. You better take loads of photos. I know. I'm going to take Are so many photos. You have like a golf day every week. Yeah, it looks oh. really good, but it's just like so different. Oh my god, I just can't stop looking at what I look like. Like, I think the makeup and the outfit pull it together. The hair didn't go quite proper as I was expecting, but it actually looked good still. It's just a bit patchy, but I think in a way that kind of looks good for this look, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like it looked good, because obviously I used hairspray in it, so it's made my hair like sort of frizzy. I don't know, it just makes my hair a bit different. I feel like in a way that kind of adds to the look, though. Yeah, the texture looks Yeah, good. yeah. Because it's, it's hairspray. Texture, but it looks very really good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She can't understand what I look like. So I think I you're in shock. I got for 24 hours then. Yeah, the whole day. And we've actually got some like important stuff to do today. So I'm going to be going out in public like this. Although I feel like I'm going to look pretty cool. And we're currently in Brighton. So I don't think I'm going to stand out like um, massively. But I still feel like some people might be like, wow, like what is she wearing? But mainly yeah, we're, we're it's for people like... who know me. Not like strangers. It's more for people who know me. Because one of you guys might notice me, but you might not not even know it's me. Like if I bump into one of you guys, one of the Miocons, they might not even know it's me if you know what I mean. The thing is, yeah, like if we were in some quaint in country, English countryside village, then it'd be really shocking. But around yeah. there, people would be like, cool, look away. Yeah. Like you're gonna blend in. There's loads of goths here, all different alternative groups of people. What would be even funnier is if we see some of the Miocons or the Fizz fan, and like, can I have a selfie please with us? And we have a selfie with them and they don't even acknowledge. Or yeah. Anything. That has happened before. We've been dressed up or something's been completely different different and you ask for a selfie and then like you don't like even acknowledge like why we're in like our Halloween costumes or something. It's <laughs> yeah so it's funny. funny. I think 
I think what happens is that people get like they're just really happy to see us. That they yeah. Don't, like they notice. don't notice. Yeah, they're just like I need to get a selfie and like because <laughs> yeah. they're like nervous. I don't know why you get nervous off us guys, but some of you get nervous and then you have a photo and then you quickly run away, which is so sweet. <laughs> oh, I think Karma approves of the shoes. I know. Karma's confused. Hat. It looks so good. Yeah. I use black got... hairspray. Oh, I thought you got an um. Like looks like I've called for a chimney. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys missed the parcel. Um. The parcel. Yeah. Did you not hear the doorbell? No. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wow. Do you like it? She looks good. Think it's your change of image, is it? Yeah. yeah. Do you like the makeup? Wow, you've even got a fake nose thing in. Yeah. She looks so I good. I got a septum. Wow. Yeah, suit you. Yeah. <laughs> It looks really crazy. cool, but she actually looks legit and really stylish. <laughs> it's really funny being Sienna and Karma. Well, Karma's just been going. I was actually going around laughing, not because I think you look silly, but it's just yeah. you know, like when something's so exciting and shocking and just like it looks so good. Like black stuff in your hair. Yeah. Yeah. I put black hairspray in it, so it makes it all like sort of a different texture, wow. and it looks kind of like. It's probably really fun yeah, though, crazy. isn't it? It is really appearance. fun, yeah. yeah. I love this. Thing of where they just have to like on appearance. Can we all go yeah. off for a day? That'd want. be fun, I don't know. I'd yeah. love to do that. Imagine karma. Imagine oh. karma. Oh. Oh. I think she likes it. <laughs> you okay then, mate? Yeah, so do you like it? If you're happy, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Don't you treasure another's being yourself? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I yeah. have my eyeliner now and my mascara? Oh, yeah, you can have them back. <laughs> I am now out in the open in my outfit. Luckily, I'm not that cold. I thought it was going to be freezing. But thanks to Mum, she let me borrow her faux leather jacket because I actually didn't have any coats that would like go of the outfit because basically my only coat that I have is either a black puffer jacket, which I mean, I guess it's black, but it wouldn't really work. Or pink fluffy jacket, which is just like the opposite of what I'm going for today. But I mean, nobody's really looking at me. I'm getting out of my comfort zone, but I don't feel like that different. Obviously my legs are exposed, but when the wind blows it, it's a bit cold, but it's not too bad. I thought it's gonna be like shivering. I think today is a bit of a warmer day compared to the other days. <laughs> okay, so we just went into Pratt, and I don't think anybody was really looking at me, but what is gonna be the most funniest thing about today is that we are actually going to rehearsals for our show, and obviously the ladies who are like helping us organize and like do the show are obviously gonna be like, what are you wearing? Because I just look so different to how I normally look. Yes. And I was thinking, changed. yeah, I've suddenly changed. Yeah. Don't say anything to them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It'd be so fun if I just like don't say anything. I just want to see if they'll say anything or if they just will like just say, okay, so Mia's wearing something different. I'm not going to mention anything in case I offend her. <laughs> Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I know it's awful. It's awful. Right, so we just met up with the ladies who are helping us with the show and one of the ladies said oh you've dressed for the occasion and i was just like yeah and i didn't really say much and then the other lady didn't say anything so i think they're just like not go for the not mentioning me <laughs> mum really yeah. funny isn't it i think they know that something's different but <laughs> yeah they're not gonna say <laughs> just come into a restaurant for lunch and look at this amazing thing that i've got i've got a chip box because we're in this place called what the pitta but look what's happened to my tights guys they're broken Oh. oh no! I mean, I guess. Authentic. Yeah, I guess so. I'm just my living life. my life in my fishnet tights, yeah, and, and they're yeah, broken. You wear jeans, yeah, I do. I guess so. I but feel like. Ripped ripped jeans, ripped jeans. <laughs> yeah. And we're back at rehearsals, but it's really funny because this isn't where the show is actually going to be. But where we're doing the rehearsal, we're actually in like a nightclub, which is a bit weird because I feel like my outfit almost kind of fits in. <laughs> It is the end of the day. I honestly cannot wait to take off this makeup because like seriously not used to having like this much heavy makeup that it feels really weird to not be able to like rub my eye. Like I know I normally don't, like I'm used to wearing makeup but I just don't wear this much of it. And like if I do rub my eye, usually it's fine. Like nothing happens. Also this, I mean it hasn't been too uncomfortable but it hasn't been the nicest to wear. Like the rest of the outfit's been fine though. Just a little bit cold but it wasn't too bad to be honest. Thanks to mum's faux leather jacket. If it wasn't for that, I would literally be 
an actual ice cube. But oh my goodness, Fist Fam, the most hilarious thing just happened. I want to tell you basically a story. So I just had a maths lesson with my maths tutor. It was so funny. She was just like, oh, hi, Mia. How are you? Just a normal introduction. And she was like, oh, I see you're going for the golf look today. And I just laughed. Well, I didn't actually laugh. I felt like laughing. I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm just trying out something different you know I like to try out new things it's always nice to do that and I think I guess she probably just thought I was like an experimental teenager which basically this whole look is just me experimenting and just trying out something new and I really really enjoyed this however it's gonna feel nice to take off the makeup but like the outfit I'm gonna be pretty sad not to wear this I mean I'm gonna keep all of the clothes well except for this I am gonna be like wearing all of these clothes I probably wouldn't wear them together but except for the leather dress or the leather like jumpsuit I wouldn't the faux leather of course the vegan leather jumpsuit thing but like this dress I'm gonna be wearing like this black dress by itself is really nice the fishnet tights are like a classic if I pair them with like a pink dress or something like that on me well it depends but like I feel like if I pair this with a more normal outfit then it wouldn't look so goth but yeah anyway the meal cons I'm now gonna go to sleep and I will see how I feel in the morning when I have like got ready normally and it's just gonna be so weird to like get ready this day I feel like wearing this outfit has made me feel really confident I was kind of nervous in case it might make me feel more confident which is obviously an amazing thing and that's what actually kind of happened or if I may feel a bit shy and a bit like self-conscious of how I look and at times I was like well um like people kind of look at me but the only times people were looking at me I think it was because they liked my outfit I don't really ever wear outfits that kind of really stand out or like super fashionable or anything like that but I feel like this outfit although it's like different to like the normal average fashion which I think is amazing when I think of goth I think of something that's kind of like bikes and studs and like chains leather fishnets and stuff like that so I feel like sometimes when people think of goth they think of what I interpretate as emo so I'm not sure if these are what like they actually are but this is just like my version of it and I think it came out really cool and I think it looked really cool in the end so I'm really happy with how this went you never know in my next video I may just decide to wear this all the time because I had so much fun wearing it anyways guys I'm really tired so we're going to be going to sleep and I will see you in the morning and I am back to my normal self Mia Corns, but I'm not gonna lie, however it felt nice to like wear some colour again, it feels kind of sad just to wear like a normal sort of boring outfit, like I just found it so much fun wearing something that was just like really different and it did make me feel like quite confident I guess and it just made me feel good and I was just like more aware of how I look, but like in a good way because I was just like wow I look so different and I just like every time I looked in the mirror I was just like like, oh my goodness me however I still do like really love wearing my normal ordinary clothes but I would love to do some more of these videos and I've actually got one planned that I'm going to be doing soon and I cannot wait to do it honestly me because I'm so excited for it it's gonna be kind of like the opposite to this I'm gonna be going very extra that's a little clue for you guys anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you are new around here make sure to click subscribe to become a hashtag miracle also make sure to follow me on my Instagram I am at me as life official I will see you in my next video bye guys love you Mwah.